If you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check the link in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. What is up guys? Welcome to this special video. We are trying out this SBC Torres who cost a shit ton of coins and I don't even know how some people are going to afford them. I actually even struggle to afford them just because of the 88 um, raid influence that you're going to need. It's six Team of the Weeks. And the team overall has to be 88 overall rated, and that is disgusting, to be honest with you guys. So I have no idea how you're going to afford him. But the team we have around him is, um, obviously, some of the legends you'll see around, and also team with the Ronaldo as a striker. We do have this new Obante. I did open packs yesterday. I was able to pack this Obante and pack this Surugu. I got a couple of others, but obviously they won't work in this team. So it's a decent, uh, decent looking team, I have to say. I mean, obviously not decent, looks amazing. But Varane's on 8 cam. I think he's the only one that is not on full cam. And obviously the Ronaldo, but let's see what happens. This SPC Torres, let's go over him. He has 92 pace, 92 shooting, 92 dribbling, 86 physical and 84 passing. Now, one thing I'm worried about is you see how EA give some of these old players special cards. They don't upgrade their stamina enough, so I'm worried about this uh, uh, Fernando Torres where his stamina is not going to be high enough, so we're going to go ahead, check the in-game stats and hope that he, has, he just has um, high enough uh, stamina. So make sure you check out G2A, their link will be in the description for to buy PSN cards, Microsoft points, or cheap PC games, and here we go. Alright, let's see this opponent's squad. Oh my days, he does have some disgusting players in his squad. What about that left back? I'm not sure if he's going to sub another person in, but I guess he wanted that Inter Milan link, so that is why he has him there. So let's see what we could do against him. All right, let's check out the in-game stats for this Torres. 76 aggression, 96 attack positioning, 89 vision, um, 90 acceleration, 86 agility, 62 bounce is quite on the low side. Um, 77 stamina is actually higher than I expected. 93 uh, strength, wow, that is crazy. What's his aggression? 76, all right. 94 ball control, 94 curve. What's his finishing? 90 finishing, holy crap. 99 heading and 86 long shots with 97 power. 95 volleys and no traits, no specialities. Let's see what we could do with him. Oh, Torres, finesse it. There we go, with 90 finishing. Really great positioning there. No! Oh my god, how did Icardi miss? That's why he should be a Discordy. Ronaldo steals it, let's go! Fernando Torres get in, you have 99 heading accuracy. 99! What? 99 heading accuracy, what the hell? Let's go Torres, let's go, let's go. Puyol's chasing him. Is Puyol stronger? Torres just shoves him off. Oh, but Del P, come on, is in. Torres is there though to finish it off. Let's go. Oh my god, what an AIDS goal that was. But strikers, the most important thing is to be there at the right place at the right time, and that's Torres. That's what he just did there. Let's go. I how do you even know how the hell? Torres was all the way at the top of the penalty area and he ends up scoring the goal. Four star weak foot volley. Oh man. I know I could have ca uh, just carried on running on to goal, but I just really want to test out everything with this Torres rather than scoring, you know, just normal generic goals. We have a free kick, let's double check what Torres' free kick accuracy. 74 but 97 power. I don't know, let's see. What what kind of curve? I'll never take free kicks with him. <laughs> Honestly, what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh man. Come on Tonelli. How the hell did Zola hold him off like that? Look at this, Tonelli bounce right to him and then he, Zola just holds him off. Oh, 
Let's go. You see, the thing about this Taurus is his positioning. Every time I'm running, I like I like to see him find his own space. And this is what this Taurus is doing. So you hold it off and you see this Taurus make a run and he always finds space. This is what I really like about him. And inside the area, he hasn't missed one shot yet. Other than the 99 heading accuracy, where he actually hit it wide somehow. I don't know how. That's the only one he's missed. But hat trick already for this Torres. And this is Division 1, by the way. So, some of the best players I'm playing against right now. How is he managing to steal the ball like that? I don't understand. I take the ball, try and clear it, but somehow he just steals it. Look at that. Let's go. Raf, come on. Shall I try another free kick with Torres? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could trust him after the first one. Alright, here we go. 74 free kick accuracy. Why did he hit it with such crappy power though? Look at what is that? It's like they haven't even upgraded the free kicks. It's stupid. I mean, he has 74 free kick accuracy, but I'm putting that much power and he has like 90 plus power. It makes no sense. Keep on. It's gonna be a corner for this guy. Someone on the main post. There we go. Can we get him on the counter? Let's go, Torres. Oh, there's Torres stamina coming into play here. Can we even. Oh, I really can't do anything with him. Torres stamina was just dead, and Ronaldo has to take care of things there. But that's one of the disadvantages to this Torres. In the second half, towards the 60th plus minute, he starts dying and he's not that useful. So 77 stamina is, oh, I don't know man. And so if people say use him as a super sub, I mean, I'm not gonna pay 100, 1 million plus for a super sub, you know what I'm saying? So it really comes down to how much coins you have to waste. Because this Taurus is good, doesn't seem to be that good in the second half to be honest. He hasn't done much in the second half. We win the first match, first impressions like I said, second half Torres isn't that useful anymore because you guys saw his stamina, Ronaldo had to do most of the work. So, how much coins do you have? Can you invest 1 million plus in an untradeable player? It all comes down to how, how rich you are in FIFA, to be honest. Let's see this guy's team, hopefully, okay, it's a Premier League team, nothing too special. He does have the overpowered centre-back uh, combo. And check though, so maybe check is not that great at low driven, so we're gonna be trying that a bit more with Torres. I really want to try and score some long shots, finesse shots with Torres, but haven't had the chance to do so. And also in the second half, let's see if he can do anything this time. Torres steals it, let's go Torres! Cut in! Keep going! Torres hit it! No! What the hell? The lag just... I don't even know what happened there. It took him so long to react. What am I doing? Kain Torres. Kain again. Hit it! Oh man! I tried to be too fancy there. Ho ho! Abate versus Moshiao. Abate just killed him! Let's go! That's what you get for the retro Abate. That's how overpowered he was. Torres bullies off. Who is that? Conte. Can he? Oh man. Torres is just not strong enough. Torres, there has to finish that. There we go. In the penalty area, he just so, so clean the cool. In the, it took us 67 minutes to break this guy down. Holy crap. No. No. Keep on. There we go. Clear it. Ronaldo over the top it to Torres. Torres get to that. Let's go. Cut in. Cut in again. Push him away. Torres! Oh, why did I load driven that? That was my bad. 
Where's my defense? Holy crap. There you go. You want a shield? Go ahead and shield, but let me get the goal kick. No, not like this. Not like this! Ah, oh, he gets good. He gets a good goal. That was really nicely worked from him. Breaks me down really nicely. I didn't know if I wanted to tackle the guy on the board, but then I saw storage. I guess I should have marked storage better. That should be a red. There we go. He has his storage off. 87th minute. Can we do more? Let's go Torres. Let's go Torres. Oh! Mistake from the opponent. Torres! Torres! Oh, wow! I thought we might be able to steal it in the 90th, but... Really nicely worked there with Torres, but what is this guy doing? Can we get a goal in the 90th? That would be awesome. That would be pretty awesome. Let's go Torres. Hi in Torres. Finesse it, Torres! Oh no! Off the post! Why? Oh, that would have been such a sick way to end the match. That's the second match, we did okay with him there, in, in, in Division 1, uh, yet again, like, we had a couple of really nice opportunities, um, some of them I made the wrong decision where I, I tried to do a driven shot instead of trying powering it, especially outside the penalty area, but um, as you guys saw, Torres did pretty well, but stamina comes into play, like I said, in the second half, he doesn't do as much as you want him to, and he doesn't feel as fast, obviously, because of how tired he gets. And then you might have to rely or try and sub him off. So try and rely on a different striker or sub him off. But um, I don't even know how he missed that with storage. But I, then again, it's his weak foot. So Torres, one goal, and getting a 7.9 um, rating. So I don't know. Is Torres worth the money? No, <laughs> one million coins, and you expect a lot from uh, a million coin plus player. And at the same time, like I said, can't tell me you, you're going to use him as a super sub just because of um, you can't pay one million coins for a super sub. Like, come on. All right, so um, overall about this Torres, some stance didn't make sense, like his free kicks. It says he has 74 free kick accuracy. I get that. It's not accurate. But why are they so weak? Like, it makes no sense because he has 90 plus power. So why is, he, why is his free kicks weak? Did EA not change anything in, in those stats or something like that? I don't know. In the numbers, you can see they've increased. But when you do take the free kick, it seems like it's like the, the, the non-informal level. I don't know. But uh, overall... Torres, first half scores us, uh, sorry, the first match he scores us a hat-trick, second match he scores us one goal. This is Division 1, so we're playing against very tough opponents. Second half, you will need a better striker because he gets tired and you might have to rely too much on your other striker or on your other players. So, is he worth 1 million coins? No. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did and hopefully you have a very nice day.